What's up everybody, Drew right back at it again with another video. Today we're going to be talking about Ready or Not because I just thought that there was enough to make a whole video. So while we wait for the Atom update to come, I thought that I would just talk about everything Ready or Not. But let's just go ahead and hop into it. So first things first, Ready or Not is going on sale for like the second time in forever. Yes, this is the Autumn Steam Sale that's going to be happening on the 22nd through the 29th at around 10 a.m. Pacific, according to Steam. It's going to be off for about 15%, which is actually more than the previous one because i think the last one was only 10 percent so this will make it around 33 dollars compared to 30 dollars the last time i think so i guess this would still make it a sale not being the 40 dollars but i mean that's still quite a bit so if you're someone that wanted to get ready or not for a cheaper price then i guess this is the time to do it i kind of wish that they would have had this update out by now to make it a little more enticing but the devs seem to be having a field day with not actually dropping the update man I feel like I've seen this before. But for real though, it's getting really old. Them saying something is gonna come out around the corner only for it not to come out and get pushed back. But to be fair, Kaminsky isn't an actual developer as far as I know. He's just a CM, community manager. Someone who just talks to the community, but if I've known anything about all the CMs that have come before him, they don't really receive a whole lot of information, at least as far as I've seen. So yeah, that's annoying, but what are you gonna do? People took his word as gospel, and that's where a lot of people got confused. But anyways, the first thing that we're gonna do is obviously go through the dev logs, and then talk about a couple of other things that's in here. I have been making YouTube shorts of these, but now it's gonna be all in just one video, in case you were too lazy to look all of them up. But I'm not gonna lie, shorts do not pay very well compared to my other videos, you know? So if you want me to keep doing shorts, please consider becoming a member by joining the channel. But anyways, let's get on with it. So the first one that we have here is from um, Ali, this came just after I uploaded the surrender show badge animations. Ali says, by popular request, knife hostages have been added to the game. Let's take a look, see. So yeah, obviously this is pretty rough. Dude grabs him and then he holds him up and I'm assuming he's gonna like try and talk to us right there. You can actually see like a little bit of a bulge right there. Then he stabs him and then he lets him go and then he kind of does like a bit of a twerk right here. Mm, yeah, sexy booty. It's kind of sadistic as this guy's staring at the dead body like that. It's like, yes, my work, my creation. Bird chirping in the background. But that seems to be it for that one. Let's push on to the next thing here. The next one comes from Hunter, randomly in the chat. The name of this video is called The Future of Locomotion. Let's take a look. I don't believe there's any audio to this. So he's obviously standing on top of a conveyor belt with a bunch of boxes that are just kind of going along. A couple of things to note here. This is obviously the new map. You can see someone that's already tied down right here. Man, this place looks ridiculously good, not gonna lie. I'm trying to see if there's anything else in the backgrounds over here. I don't see that much. Um, you can see the opening containers, the forklift, uh, the whole walkway. God, these floors remind me so much of like an actual warehouse. The only thing that kind of looks off to me is when like the boxes go up here. And I think what happens is that they, like, spawn a different box when it comes up here. Well, let's see if I take a look at this again. See how it kind of, like, boop! He, like, looks away at the last second, and then he stops it like he's hiding it. And then he looks away because he saw it. I'm pretty sure. But anyways, when we got to the next thing, we've got another mini update that was posted by Grunter called Gold Frap. I'm not sure what that means. I don't think anybody's explained that as far as I know. I think this might be a new character. I'm not too sure. A lot of people were saying that this guy is probably Gerard, but this guy looks different from Gerard. Let's see if I can pull up a picture real quick. Because Gerard looks like this. This guy looks a little different and he has like a, I mean, it could be just the concept art looks different from the, you know, the new model, but who knows? I think this is someone different but we don't actually know for sure. But anyways, let's play this. One thing of note, I think that this background song is a custom one because if it wasn't custom, then I think I would have gotten dinged on YouTube. I don't think I've heard this song before either. But yeah, this guy is just standing here and he's just shambling around. Not really too much to say about this, but this definitely looks like he's inside of the Ridgeline house, the new one. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I really got to say about that. Moving on to the next one here. This one comes from a mini dev bug and it's not so much about the bug that we're looking at. It's about the map itself because it looks slightly different from what I remember. It looks a little brighter and it looks a little more cleared out. I'll show you a comparison. Shit, 
so the bug here is that he was supposed to be standing behind this door and he all of a sudden spawns right here but obviously you know that's the bug what i want to point out here is that this area looks different to me it looks a lot more brighter and i think there's actually stuff moved around definitely looks like they've updated gas station here they definitely made it a lot more brighter than i remember i think they moved a couple of things around but for the most part it looks relatively the same oh there's no door here in the current build that's cool it looks like they actually made it brighter all right moving on somebody pointed out that this is a new site a new hollow site or something looks the same to me but i could be wrong moving on to the next thing here our next ready or not thing takes us to their twitter which also has to do with lighting it says we're changing how you see things and soon you'll see much more and yes this is the penthouse map it looks relatively unchanged so they made it look darker i'm not sure if i like that because i think a big criticism with this game is that it's ridiculously dark in a lot of areas and them making the map darker i'm just not a fan of i think it looked better in the previous one unless we can actually flip on lights here that'd be kind of cool light up the room i look at this like why would you have windows here to light up the area right to see outside and it just looks like the windows don't actually do anything the room's still dark this just looks unrealistic to me i don't think i like this change i like how they lit up the gas station i think i like the previous previous update because there's actual lights here that seem to function and a window here that does its job of lighting up the area without having to use lights. I get that this is supposed to be like a dark game but they don't have to take it literally. I think that some things can be better when seen in the light, bring the darkness to the light if that makes sense. But I don't know, maybe I'm just being too overcritical with this. Looking down at this comment section right here, I mean this kind of validates my opinion right? Pretty sure it looked better before exactly what I think. Somebody says, just played this again today, love mod.io edition, quick and easy how much did they pay you <laughs> big lol all right well moving on to the next thing here is another tweet that was posted by them again this is also found on their instagram page i believe oh this is a gif okay their twitter says something important is on its way sooner than you think i could have sworn i saw a version of this that had audio maybe it was just a gif i don't know i'll let it play then i guess so it's like some sort of loading screen i guess uh it says ready or not import time a list of items item equals list range 057 i equals lens items initial call to print zero progress print progress bar zero i prefix equals atom update suffix complete length 50 or i item in enumerant items hashtag do stuff time sleep zero to one update progress bar print progress bar i plus plus one i prefix equals atom update suffix equals complete length equals 50 loading and it stops at 90 percent complete probably meaning that we are going to see this update for a bit i don't know what any of this means if i'm being honest and i don't think anybody else seems to god what is these, these people got to be fake, right? I'm not seeing anybody that understands this stuff. So I'm going to assume that nobody knows at the moment. Looks similar to this custom code that we created over. So I don't know what that means. But what I do know is that this is clearly telling us that the game or the update is not ready. If it's only 90% and not 100. And this came out, I think, on the 18th. Yeah, the 18th, and it's been 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. It's been about five days as a recording of this video, and there really has not been an update aside from, I guess, this nominate us better with friends on steam as much as i would love to nominate them i just man that four month wait has been a kick in the nuts dude i don't know if i can nominate them but yeah that's pretty much it when it comes to ready or not news there's not too much else to talk about really but i thought there was enough to make at least a decent sized video so i think that's probably where i'm gonna end it i don't think there's anything else i feel like i'm missing something though but i'm going to assume that i got everything and just end the video if you enjoyed the fact that i cover games like ready or not then be sure to like the video share the video comment down below if you're someone that's new to the channel be sure to subscribe and ding that bell so that you can get more content on ready or not or any other game that i decide to cover if you're someone that would like to support the channel check out my patreon hop on that drum button then a thank you in the comments any donation helps to keep the channel running with that all being said i want to thank everybody for coming out to watch and i guess i'll catch you in the next one Bye bye